As, as you can see by my hands, I've been repairing pens today. And I just thought I would show you some of the some of the pens that now are working and ready to go. We'll start with this one. <clears throat> this is the Schaefer Ringtop quote ladies pen. And it has these striped uh, lines going down chased striped lines. And this pen, this pattern, is often referred to as a secretary pen. Sometimes the nibs say secretary, uh, sometimes they don't. This one says 46 special. No, I was wrong. It says Lady Lifetime. Isn't that special? I didn't even realize that. I guess I'm going to have to keep this one. I don't know if I have a, another Lady Lifetime. It, the lady that owned this pen knew how many beans made five. She uh, is a real battle axe of a dame. She was a dame, and um, really stiff nib. She didn't take crap from anyone, this lady. I thought this was a secretary pen, and I already had my script planned out about secretaries. But now I have to change my script. <clears throat> really, really firm. Now, I'm wondering about this. So put this on your back burner and think about this pen. This is another, quote, ladies pen, ring top, made by the Wall Eversharp Company. And it has a completely different nib than this one. And this lady that owned this pen wrote lovely little notes won't you join me <clears throat> me for tea on Thursday that's what this pen would write a little bit of flourish, a little bit of fun. This one, come to T or else, come to T, T, spell it right, not B, T, or else. This person meant business. This person didn't. You know, it just it's, it really is interesting. I'm just dipping these. These have sacks in them now, but I'm just dipping them so I don't have to empty them out again. And I, my ink bottle is almost done, so I'm not dipping far enough, which is why they're skipping. So, do come to tea, is what this one would say. Another lady's pen. Ring top, ladies' pen is this wall, the Greek key pattern, slightly fatter. If these two had an offspring, this would be it. It's uh, a little bit bet uh, in between in terms of the, s the diameter of the pen, and the nib is very much the love child of these two nibs. There's a little tiny bit of flexibility. The nib that is in it now is an Eversharp nib from the 40s rather than one from the 20s. I can certainly put a 20s arrow one in it. But this one is the one that came with the pen, so I'm leaving it here for the moment. 
oftentimes, you know, if, the, if you broke a nib, you'd go back to the store and they'd say, well, all of those nibs that came with that pen I've used up. But I do have this nib that comes out of a Skyline pen. I can put in the pen for you. It'll fit. It'll work fine. And the lady with the pen would say, sure. So, no. Yes. So, this person would invite you to tea. with not quite as much flourish as the second lady would. I really do need to, I'm gonna, I am going to try to find the correct nib for this pen. Because this one really belongs on a different one. So ignore the fact that I've told you I fixed this pen because clearly I haven't yet enough. So that'll go, let's, let's try this nib. It, it, hits, it needs a nib like this in it, number two. Take it out of here. Come on. See if it, see if it fits in here better. It may not. All of these nibs were No two of are alike. The feed has to come out a little bit further on this one now to fit, fit this nib. So I've got to knock, the, take the feed out a little bit. The, the feed is shoved too far in, which is where where it needed to be for that other nib. Where did that other nib go? I'll just leave this in here. This is how it came to me, and the fact that it works fine. I'm going to leave it there. No, I'm not. See? You're making me think, this pen. No, I've got to, I've got to fix this. Change the nib out. This one I'm going to leave in here. Where it belongs. This will... This lady will invite you to tea in a different sort of way. E C H. Okay, let's show you two other pens that I repaired here. I repaired two, and I have to re-repair this one, or find a nib that fits better than this one. This one just is not right. So, fix that one. This pen, which is the one I fixed, this one, Elmer, Elmer Perry owned this pen. And it's a made in Canada Waterman. And it has a Canadian nib. Nice. How would, how would Elmer invite you to tea? In Canada, dare. What do Canadians say? To come to tea. Made in Canada. Here is I made in the United States of America version of this pen. It's not quite the same. There's differences in the clip. 
the Americans made a clip that looked like this too. It's just a different style. This one has the wrong section in it. The section used to be striped, but it had a big crack in it. So I replaced it with a black section, which works fine. Holds the nib, does everything it's supposed to do. It does not have the clear back area here that allowed you to see how much ink was in the pen, um, unfortunately. So you'll just have to remember how much ink you put in the pen. So we've got two pens fixed, three pens fixed. This one I have to fix again. Just needs the the feed needs to be. This is something I didn't notice, but I'll just show you here. The feed needs to come out further, and this nib it should hold a longer nib than this one. See what happens. It, you don't see what happens, but it comes up from the feed. So a longer necked nib will work. Again, let's just take this one out just to see if it works. I'm, I'll probably put it back the way it was, but let's just see if this works. in it. Come on, get in there. That's tight, see? That does not come up. That retains contact the way you want it to. So why are you skipping on me? Because I didn't dip it enough. These short pens are really... I'll leave this nib in this pen because it does fit better than that other one. Um, these pens are really neat. The short a, sh a short pen, whether it's a ring top pen or not, a short pen is really kind of neat when you hold it, when you have it in your hand without the cap. It sort of fits interestingly in your flesh of your hand. Um, I normally will post a pen so it won't. be right there. Um, it's interesting though when you just try it out. You sort of write differently. Interesting little side thing. Okay, I have to write some real words. I have had complaints. Can you imagine someone complaining to me about my, what I how I write and how I make marks with my pens on my YouTube videos. One person commented that looking at my scribbles has caused this person to lose their ability to live. Their willingness to live was lost because of my handwriting and I certainly don't want that. Well, let's, let's pretend we're writing suicide notes. Goodbye. Cruel. World. Why are we skipping? It's not supposed to happen.
because I'm dipping. Well, I'll figure it out. It's not supposed to be doing that. It makes me want to jump off a cliff when pen's skipping that way. Now this is interesting. I'm, I'm having a hard time making a really fine line. And why is that? I'm going to put this nib back in the pen that it was in before and see if I have that problem. This is why my fingers are all dirty, by the way. Because I'm yanking and replacing and yanking and replacing. So here's the same nib. You haven't seen this nib has not moved from your field of view. First of all, it's not skipping. And the fine line seems finer. So this nib is going to stay in this pen where it works. I'll find a different nib for this pen. One that will work perfectly well. Is this going to work? No. We just we figured that out. This one is not going to work. Okay. Drives me crazy. Okay, let's get Elmer out here. Is this Elmer? No, that's the other one. Here's Elmer, Elmer Perry, with the Canadian nib. Goodbye, crew world. killing himself. Don't know. That wallpaper. Okay, dip. That wallpaper, one of us has got to go. That was supposed to be Oscar Wilde's last words as he looked up from his deathbed at the room around him. Oh, that wallpaper. One of us has got to go. Perfectly good pen, Elmer. No reason to kill yourself. Not when you have that beautiful pen in your hand. This one is missing in the nib. I just pointed that out to you. Did I fix any other pen? Oh, here it is. We're back at the Lady Schaefer. This nib is really, this is very matter of fact. There's no art in this nib. Not that there needs to be, but this woman on her, her suicide note would list Dear cruel, cruel world, I'm leaving you post haste because of the following. And she would list them one, two, three, four. She'd say, uh, Not enough eligible young men in the world to. Um, the stoplight on Main Street is too long. That's one of the reasons why she'd kill herself. She would just... This person, actually, this Lady Schaefer, I have a hard time thinking she felt happy about anything in her life. 
You know, of all the pens to buy, this lady chose this pen. And more importantly, this lady chose this nib on this pen. No joy in her life. No joy. And she never saw happiness because she had this pen. Had this been lost and she picked up? No. She picked up this pen. She picked up this pen. I'm trying to find the pen that worked. If she, if she was in the middle of her suicide note and came down to, you know, point number five as to why she was going to kill herself and she used this pen by mistake, she picked this one up, you know, the dog keeps barking. She would say, just about here at the end of the word G, she'd say, oh my god, the, the dog is so sweet. I love the sound of his little bark. He makes me want to live. And then she'd throw the note away because she had this pen. I'd kill myself if this was the only pen I had left in the world. Now, the this pen has a use. What use would it have? Let's say you were on a desert island and you needed to hang up your coat. You'd take the cap off like this, take it off, you'd put this into a tree, and you'd pound this in and you'd have a coat rack. That, that's a good use of this pen. Now this pen, if, if all you did you who owned this pen, if all Lady Schaefer did was to complain, this is a perfectly good pen for that because this would keep you focused on bitching about everything. The sunny day is too sunny. God damn it, she'd write in her diary. This is just brings out the worst in people. And yet, I have to keep it, because it makes me think of how lucky I am. Go back here. To the, this is why I'm happy, because I've got a pen that can do this. Except it keeps, I need to fill it up. Before I do these things, I should fill the pens up. Anyway, this one will make me happy. Or maybe even you happy, I may decide to sell this, because I may already have one already, just like this, in my collection, and I don't need two of these. I may need two of these, but I don't need two of these. Do you want it? You should. Could have saved Lady Schaefer's life, this pen. She probably did finish her note, the woman that owned this, and blew her brains out. There's, there's, you know, when, he, when I have this pen in my hand, by the way, I'm just going to say something nice about this pen. It really makes me think what I'm writing is important. There's a certain... Because because it's supposed to be a smaller pen, ladies' pens are supposed to be smaller. Don't ask me why, but Lady Schaefer pens are big. This particular pen is big. And it just, it's forceful. And this... Lady Schaefer was a suffragette, and she... She was on a number of causes, I bet. She still killed herself. Poor thing. <laughs>